Greetings, my name is Matt Fiello, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco Systems Compute System Product Group. And we're going to be talking about uh, InterSight firmware upgrades for legacy UCS domains. Okay, first out of the gate, we're going to do an infrastructure firmware upgrade using InterSight. And I'm picking a very old domain, a, an old second gen uh, domain. And we're going to go from 323 up to 411 as an example. Okay, we're in InterSight. Let's go to Fabric Interconnects and pick our Fabric Interconnect that we're going to upgrade. Actually, we're going to upgrade the entire domain, but you just pick one of the Fabric Interconnects. So we're picking uh, the one, and of course you see both the FIs are there, the one domain. And we're going to upgrade to 411 Delta. So you can see the little thumbs up icon there. That's the recommended version at this time. You can see we have green up arrows there denoting upgrade. And you can see both FIA and FIB. There's also some additional information there, firmware details, and a quick, quick hot link to the release notes. So go ahead and click upgrade. And first time here, you have to conform with the legal lot sign in okay you see that we have initiated the upgrade we're looking at our request and now we've drilled into details and we're watching our uh, process take place here this is accelerated this will take much longer of course Okay, we're just going to watch this uh, build out as these tasks come across the screen as the process flows, the workload executes. See, we're downloading the applicable firmware to the Fabric Interconnects. Also know that Fabric Evacuation automatically kicks into the workflow.
Okay, you can see that uh, upgrade has completed on the subordinate FI. So we need to acknowledge the primary with applicable failover. Okay, we should be finishing up here. Looks like it's complete and we have success. So we've successfully upgraded the infrastructure for the UCS domain. Let's go ahead and check the task. See that we have success. Okay, now we'll move on to the blade firmware upgrades. Okay, we're going to select servers and then pick our server. You can also mass select and, and upgrade multiple servers. They have to be on the same rev of firmware. But we're going to select one and upgrade firmware.
we're going to stay consistent with the infrastructure. So although the uh, recommended version moved up to 412 that was uh, recently deployed, we'll go with 411 Delta. My best practice, I always try to keep my blade uh, and manage C-Series server firmware on the same bundle as the FIs. You can check out the firmware details, supported models, and of course hot link to release notes. Click upgrade. Validate if the server reboot is required. Most times it is if you're doing an upgrade, especially with BIOS and adapters and storage controllers, etc. Go find the task, drill into the task for full screen details. You can see the image will be downloaded to the FIs, the B package. In this case, that was pretty quick, it was already there. So, first time takes longer than subsequent attempts to, to upgrade firmware. Your package is already there. Something I want to draw out here and explain is <clears throat> this is a legacy UCS domain. So this is not to be con confused with uh, the new intersite managed mode for a domain that just went tech preview. Uh, this, this is legacy UCS domains. These are domains that, are, that have UCS manager still in charge of everything. Um, so you're gonna, see, you're gonna see in this workflow here, you know, up, updating host firmware package, uh, building the user act maintenance policy. You're going to see familiar terms here because we're actually using UCS manager and the server uh, correction service profile to actually deliver this this uh, this firmware. So inner sites uh, just, you know, talking to UCS manager, UCS manager is really carrying this out. That raises another point. You have to have a server profile assigned to the Blade or Manage C Series server to use this, to use this uh, Blade Manage C Series server firmware upgrade through Intersight. Um, we're still relying on the server profile, so um, this will air out quickly if you don't have a server profile assigned. And of course, now it's asking you permission to proceed. So basically validation has completed and now we're going to uh, proceed. Okay, one final confirmation for server reboot, as promised.
Okay, our blade upgrade has completed. It was successful. And that completes our infrastructure and blade firmware upgrades. Thank you.